Hi, Kinder Friends. This week in writing, we are going to be practicing writing a letter. Have you gotten a letter before in the mail? Maybe you have, maybe you haven't, but this week we're going to be practicing writing a letter. So let's get started. In your packets this week, you should have gotten a page that looks like this, writing letters information page. This is if grownups want to help you write a letter without watching this video, but you know what? All the stuff on that is what I'm going to be teaching you right now, so you don't have to worry about that. You also are going to be getting a ton of pages that look like this. These are our templates for our letter. This is what the page looks like when it's empty before you write your letter, and I'm going to walk you through how to do everything. At the bottom of this, you're going to see a little box that has some other little boxes inside of it. What we're going to do is check off or put an X in every box once we finish doing something. So you can do this along with me. You might have to pause the video if you want to make sure that you're keeping up with me because I'm going to go kind of fast. Or you could just watch the video once through and then come back if you need to check on something. All right, you ready? Let's get started. Now the very first thing we need to do when we're writing a letter is figure out who are you writing your letter to? It could be anybody. You could be thinking of your mom, your dad, your grandma, your uncle, a friend, or maybe a teacher. You've got lots of people you can think of to write a letter to. Maybe your brother or sister or your neighbor. Maybe somebody you haven't seen in a long time. I know I haven't seen my grandma in a long time, so I think I'm gonna choose my grandma to write my letter to. Now that I've picked who I'm gonna write my letter to, I can go on to the next part of my letter. The next part is a greeting. A greeting is how you say hello. It's how you start your letter. You can, you can write your greeting here at the top of our letter. Maybe you wanna say something like, dear, dear grandma, dear mom, dear Susie, or you could say hi, or you could say good morning or good afternoon. I think I'm gonna stick with the word dear. That's what's already written on my letter template. If you want to think of something different to write, you can cross off dear and write down whatever you want, all right? So my greeting is going to be dear grandma. Perfect, I'm done with my greeting. I'm ready to move on to the next part of my letter. After we finished our greeting, we move on to writing our sentences. Now, I know you guys have been in kindergarten for a long time now. At the beginning of kindergarten, we only wrote one sentence on each page. But now, we are almost in first grade, so we can write more sentences on each page of our letter. Our sentences are going to go in the middle of our letter on all of these lines. We have lots of space, so we can write lots of words. I'm going to try to write three sentences first in my letter to get started with. Hmm, what is something I could say to my grandma? How about, we miss seeing you. I know baby Dorothy misses seeing my grandma. Or, I'm having fun at home. I am, I'm doing lots of fun stuff. I hope we will see you soon. I think that's something kind I could say to my grandma. So I've written at least two sentences, so now I get to put our check or cross off at the bottom of my letter where it says two or more sentences. Check, I'm ready to move on to the next step. After I've written multiple sentences, now I can think of something else I can add to my letter, which is ask questions. When we're asking questions, we're giving our reader something to respond to. That means if I ask my grandma a question, then she can write a letter back to me answering my question. It gives her something to tell me in my letter. Questions always have what is called a question mark at the bottom of our letter. Can you draw a question mark with me in the air? Ready? I'm gonna try to draw a question mark with you, ready? Here we go, boop. It's like a little curl, a backward C, and then a dot, boop, to make our question mark. So what is a question I could ask my grandma? Hmm, I wonder what she's doing at home with my grandpa. I'm gonna ask her, are you having fun with grandpa? Maybe they're playing a game together. What's another question I could ask her? <gasps> I know, my grandma is a really good cook. So I want to know, what food are you making? Oh, I can't wait till I get to go visit my grandma and eat some of her food. So those are my questions. Are you having fun with grandpa? And what food are you making? I asked my questions, so now I get to put an X in the box. Check, I put two or more sentences, and I asked a question. I'm ready to move on to the next part. 
The next part of our letter is our closing. Our closing goes at the bottom of our letter. Our closing is how we say goodbye. So I could say from, I could say love, I could say sincerely, that's a big word, or I could say your friend if I'm writing to a friend. I'm gonna keep it with the word from because that's what's already written on my letter. But again, if you want to say something different, cross off the word from and write something different. After I've chosen my closing, it's time for me to write my name. And that goes right next to my closing, right there on the word or on the line next to the word from. So I'm writing my name from Mrs. Blatchley. I wrote my name, so now I get to check off the signed my name part on our checklist at the bottom. Perfect. It looks like I have a lot of my letter done. Now I'm going to go back in my letter and make sure that I did some really important things in my writing, just like I do in all of my writing. First, I need to check and make sure I have spaces. If I don't put spaces between my words, this is what my words look like. This is supposed to say, we miss seeing you, but I can't really read it because there's no spaces between my words. When I write my words, I need to make sure there's a little gap between all of my words. I can use my finger to help me put my finger spaces in between my words. I can write a word, put my finger down, write the word next to it, and then put my finger down again until I finish all of my words to make sure that I have spaces between my words. I'm looking through, it looks like I put spaces between all of my words so I can put an X in the spaces box. Now I'm ready to go on to the next thing. The next thing I'm gonna check and make sure I have is punctuation. That's a big word, can you say that with me? Punctuation. Punctuation is a big word for a really teeny tiny part of my sentence. We can put a period, a question mark, or an exclamation mark at the end of each of our sentences. When I have a statement, that just means a regular sentence, I can put a period at the end. We miss seeing you is just a regular sentence, so I put a period at the end. Are you having fun with grandpa? That's a question, we already talked about this. We can put a question mark at the end of that sentence. I am having fun at home. That's an exclamation. I might be shouting that if I were talking to her in real life. I put an exclamation mark at the end of my sentence if it's something I'm really excited about. So I'm looking at all of my sentences. Looks like I've got a period, an exclamation mark, a period, a question mark, and a question mark. Check, I'm ready to go. So I can put an X on the box that says punctuation. Now I'm ready to go on to the second to last thing. One more thing I wanna check with my writing is make sure I have capital letters or uppercase letters. Those are the big letters. Where do I use capital letters? Well, there's two places in kindergarten that we use capital letters. The first place we use capital letters is at the beginning of a sentence. We miss seeing you. The W is the first letter in my sentence. So I'm gonna use a big W, a capital W at the beginning of my sentence and all of my sentences look like they have a capital letter at the beginning, so I'm good there. One other place where we use a capital letter is with someone's name. So are you having fun with grandpa? Grandpa is a name, so I had to use a big G. Grandma is a name, so I used a big G for that. Mrs. Blatchley is a name, so I used a big M and a big B for my name. I'm looking through, I think I got all of my capital letters. So now I can put the last X in the box at the bottom. Yes, I went back and checked all of my writing and everything looks great. Now there's one more part of this letter that I think I need to finish. And that is drawing a picture. My grandma loves when I draw her pictures. So I'm gonna draw her a picture. I think I'm gonna draw a picture of her and I'm gonna draw her mashed potatoes because that's my favorite food in the whole world. And I know my grandma loves the color pink, so I'm gonna draw her some pink flowers on my letter. Oh, that looks great. I think she's really gonna love my letter. Now that I'm done with my whole letter, I get to decide if I want to send my letter to my grandma. 
there are two different ways I can send my letter to somebody. I can send it in the mail. If I want to put it in an envelope and send my letter to my grandma in the mail, I just have to remember to put a stamp on it. And I have to ask my mom or dad for her address so I can write my write their address on the outside of the envelope. I'll put my letter inside my envelope and send it in the mail and she should get it in a couple of days. Now there's another way that I can send my letter if I don't have any stamps at home or if I don't have any envelopes at home or if I really want them to see my letter right away. I can take a picture of it and I can send it to them in a text message on my phone or I can use my computer and send it in an email. So there are different ways I can send my letter to someone. I can mail it or I can send it to them through my computer or through my cell phone. And when I'm done, I can decide, do I want to write more letters? Every day you guys are going to be writing a different letter to somebody. Maybe you did one to grandma already and tomorrow you want to write one to your Aunt Karen or your friend Tommy or your grandpa who lives on the other side of the city. There's lots of people you can write letters to. Kinder friends, I hope you have a lot of fun writing your letters this week. I think writing letters is such a great idea, especially since we don't get to see our friends and family right now. Go ahead and start writing and let me know how you're doing. Have fun writing, Kinder friends.